change your heart, change your life, change the planet. Hey everybody, it's Tim Van Orden, and I'm about to do a course record attempt on the snowy mountain trail in the central Adirondacks of New York. One of the ways that I motivate myself to do hard workouts on Tuesdays and Thursdays is to go after course records on Strava. Strava is a website where you can follow other athletes' workouts and see the fastest known times posted based on GPS data for particular trails or road segments. So today I'm going after this bad boy up Snowy Mountain, which is a little shy of 4,000 feet. And uh, it's quite steep towards the summit. So uh, I'm gonna take you along for the ride and let you know how it goes. I'm employing some new mental techniques today and uh, we'll see how they work. All right, I'll check in in a bit. I made it to the top of Snowy Mountain in record time. The PR was, or course record, was 42.56, and I just did it in 41.12. That was probably the hardest mountain effort I've ever done in my life. I tried a, a new tactic today. I kept telling myself that this is what winning feels like, that that intense pain and that intense pressure and the need to keep pushing, 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 no recovery. That's what winning feels like. So I'm winning because I'm feeling this way. And I kept telling myself uh, towards the end, it's just ridiculous. It's some of the steepest terrain I've ever gone up and it's rocks, really big rocks. You're hopping from rock to rock and up waterfalls and up sheer, just rock faces. It was probably a 45% slope and I just kept pushing and telling myself this is what winning feels like. And right now you're a winner because you're doing the best that you possibly can. You couldn't go any faster than this. And by smiling into that and knowing, telling myself, you're doing it. This is what victory feels like. If you're not feeling like this, you're not winning. And I smiled the whole way. No matter how much it hurt, I kept a smile on my face. And uh, that was a huge breakthrough for me. And now I'm on top of a... Uh, probably an 80 foot tall fire tower. Now let me show you the view. This is looking south towards Indian Lake. And we are over to the southwest. I'm not sure what those mountains are. Oop. Cut over here, now looking west. We're right in the center of the Adirondacks. Now I'm looking north. You can see Blue Mountain in the distance. And there, way off, are the high peaks of the Adirondacks. Now Marcy, Algonquin, Whiteface, Giant, Dix, Convex, Stack, all the big guys right up there. Right here. You can see the northern part of Indian Lake. Beautiful lake. Oh, what a well-earned view. Man. I just remembered a really important component of my success today was that I didn't look at my watch. I didn't want to know what I was competing against. I came here with the intention of breaking this course record. Looked it up on Strava. It's a really legit record. The guy that set it beat my record on Blue Mountain, which is north of here, by I think like 30 seconds. So the guy's a serious stud. Um, so to try to take on his record in a longer trail with bigger climb, and he's quite a bit younger, I had my work cut out for me. So I didn't want to race against him. I didn't want to be racing against the clock. I didn't want to be calculating how far I've gone, how far I've got to go, and add that on to the pain I was experiencing. I simply wanted to be in the moment and to be powerful in the moment. Be a winner right now. Not worry about being a winner at the finish line. Not worry about what I've just done. Be a winner right now. Be a winner in this step. The winner is the guy who takes this pain, who takes this intensity, who takes the pounding of the heart, the heaving of the lungs. The winner is the one who smiles at that and says, this is what victory feels like and gets excited and charges and doesn't give up, doesn't back down, 
but sees this intensity as the sign, as the evidence of my success. It doesn't matter what my time is. It doesn't matter. I'm right now going as hard as I possibly can and I'm smiling at it. I'm excited because I'm stretching. So this is something I've done in the past where I've looked at the time and I run scared. I run with fear. I run with anxiety. And if I look at my watch and say, oh my God, I'm, you know, half a mile to the summit and I've got to do it in three and a half minutes. I can't do it. And I freak out and I panic. And that adrenaline uses up all my liver glycogen. Adrenaline uh, really helps to liberate liver glycogen, which is what you're fueling your brain with. So you want to stay away from adrenaline in intense events. So by not looking at the clock, but looking at me right now, how am I dealing with my pain right now? What is my pace like right now? Am I at the limit? Great. That means you're doing what you should be doing. Now let's smile at that limit. Let's celebrate that limit. Let's reframe that limit as success. This is what success feels like. This is what victory feels like. All you have to do is keep doing this. So let's smile at this because this is victory. Let's just keep adding up that victory. Let's just keep going in this victorious state. And that's what I did. And as hard as it got, as painful as it got, I didn't slow down. I didn't give up. I didn't tell myself I had to quit. I didn't tell myself I couldn't take it. I smiled the entire way to the summit of this mountain. And only when I got to the top, to the fire tower, did I hit my watch and take a look. And I saw that I was about a minute 50 seconds faster than his record. So new breakthrough for me, really exciting. So again, I'm learning the lesson that even though I have this incredible habit of getting myself to exercise, I still have these stories in my head. I still try to talk myself out of things because that's what the human brain does. Mm -hmm.